Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in once more, once more, once more for another run. And we get Mastema, which I don't think we've played much Mastema before. So let's jump on in as him and take a little look-see. Um, ooh, yeah, I forgot about these rooms here. Let's uh, go on in. Excuse me, the quarter. I'll take whatever this random one is. Um, ooh. Okay, I was surprised to see that wasn't a Devil Deal item. I didn't know that was going to be a thing, but um, I'm certainly happy with it. This uh, item is annoying, but really good. Um, it's annoying just because it can uh, move your bombs about and all that sort of good jazz. But yeah, by the way, I have um, I have tweaked around with my mod list just a little bit. Also, Child's Heart's kind of nice here. Not super relevant, but I've tweaked around my mod list a little bit. I've disabled a few things here and there as a tester for performance. And so far, so good. My game is running so much smoother just off of the bat here. Um, so yeah, very, very good to see. Also, I'm very annoyed I didn't see that tinted rock there. I kind of would have rather bombed that, to be honest, considering we generate eternal hearts. But yeah, it's running a bit better at the moment. So we'll see if that keeps up throughout the run. Um... Yeah, I'm happy with it. The I, I don't know the exact list of mods that were removed, but you shouldn't notice many gone. There is only a few that should actually be stuff that you notice. Uh, one of them being the Encyclopedia currently. The Encyclopedia is a fantastic mod, but I did some testing and it does seem to be one of the mods that hits performance. Um, I'm not quite sure why, uh, but... It seems to be one of the mods that was causing... Oh, that was a bad hit. Some performance issues. Another one was the... Um, unfortunately, was the... Um, the widgets for... No, we don't really need money, do we? Um, was the, the widget to tell us our... Uh, Post-it notes for, for modded characters. Which is a very relevant thing that I'd love to keep. But is actually, um, unfortunately... <laughs> kind of a bit laggy so i'm just trying without it for now and seeing how it goes oh we got an apology right off the bat as well um so i don't know what we've done as mass demo right now because i can't currently see uh which is a little unfortunate but we're just gonna try and go mother i think i don't think we've done mother as this guy yet in fact i think i'm not a hundred percent sure but i think there's a there's a thing that i can use in here that's like Mastema. Let me let me see if I can find out what it is. One second. Here we go. We got Mastema help. So we can just do Mastema marks. And it can tell us what we have. So we have Delirium. We have Boss Rush. We have Hush. Um, apparently we don't have Isaac Blue Baby Satan or the Lamb. But yeah, we don't have Mother. So Mother's a good one. Yeah. Good to, good to be able to have those. Ooh, I'd like a bomb here. Ooh, one moment. Okay, we are good to go. We are good to go. But yeah, so I, it, it's not going to be like a cure-all. It's not going to be like immediately we have absolutely no lag at all anymore. But we should hopefully find that um, situations in which we're, we, we were having dire lag are not so dire. Rooms like this are always going to be laggy, unfortunately. Um, these effects are just too much for the game to handle. It's always ones with modded enemies as well. If there's modded enemies in the game, it's just like, oh hell. I'm trying to get my laser lined up, but it's kind of difficult. Okay, there you go. Use the apology to get some stuff going on. We can actually see our health now, which is good. Um, oh my god, the game is screwing us with these uh, pickups right now. Bob's brain. Ooh, boy. Thank you for that. Do you know what? I was saying in one of the last episodes, I actually kind of like Bob's brain. Do you know what? I don't like getting hit because I got stuck on a gap. Um, let's try not to lose this, um, Eternal Heart. Also, another Lust card. Thank you. Um, but yeah, for the question of the day today, I'm kind of at a loss. What, what is your, um, okay, no. Let's, 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 let's take it back a second. Let's take it back a second, because I, I was going to say a question then and actually have one. Um, I was just going to say some random crap. Oh, God, Bob's brain, don't, don't screw me. Oh, there's more enemies in here. There's more enemies in here. My god. What is something that makes you jealous? What is something that you see people have online or you see your friends have that you just wish you had? 
Whether it be like the newest console, whether it be some clothing item, whether it be something... Oh, I forgot this guy got, gets a choice. Uh, whether it be something unrelated to either, um, I'm going to go Angel Deal here, I think. And I'm very glad I did. Awesome. Revelation is very nice for us here. Let's take it and be on our way. Yeah, what is something that makes you jealous? For me, I don't know. At the minute, at, at, at the current moment, which I'm sure many people that live in this climate will not agree with, but at, at the minute, it's very hot in the UK, and I wish it was like this way more often. The UK's weather is way too shit. I hate it. Um, so I am jealous of people that get to live in places that are warm or, more often, but I'm sure people that live in places that are warm more often absolutely hate it or at least uh wish it wasn't quite so warm all the time uh but yeah I, I i would love it i just i thrive on the heat okay we don't have a key yet so we can't get through there we have a lot of avenues to use it's kind of cool that we have like two different versions of a beam here i'm trying to think of other things that are jealous as well now i think um places that have more diverse food in the uk as well um, like, that's that's one thing that I kind of want to go to America for. I know America isn't exactly, like, the food capital of the world or anything. But, I mean, it kind of is in terms of people being fat. But, um, <laughs> but uh, I am also mean, you know, we'll grab that. That's a key as well. Good, good. Cracked key. I don't really know where we use this, but, you know, let's just try this out. Cracked. We did find our secret room via this, which is nice. We lost our holy mantle, but I don't actually know how we got a holy mantle, I'll be honest. But yeah, like, it just, it seems like America just, like, has the the most sort of diverse amounts and types of food in one place, is more so what I mean. And also, like, watching, like, Man V Food and all those sort of stuff, there's just, you bastard. There's just so many of those places that I want to try. I mean, I'm, I'm a big sort of foodie anyways, and, like, food challenges and all that sort of thing, definitely my style. I have done... Quite, I, I've done like seven or eight food challenges in my life, um, to varying degrees of success. I've beaten, I've beaten about three of them. Um, ooh, I want this just because we we're already teching it, so now we're double teching it. We can take both here as well, so why not? Crack the earth. Is this just going to be cr um, a bunch of rock waves? I'm guessing so. Oh, what the hell? All right, then. The weird glitch that happens every now and again. Keep it moving. Keep it grooving. Oh, we got we got keys now. We can open this. We can also go to our shop. Oh, squeezy. What a pickup. For the fire rate, it's great. But honestly, Apology has, has made our fire rate just fine now. I'm more so happy about the soul hearts. Um, Smelter. Although we do have a thingy machine to get a random familiar. Hey, little Steven. Why not? I like those machines. They're rare enough to be, like, interesting. Um, and I guess we'll just grab the red rune to take whatever we might like. I don't know if there's anything on this floor we can particularly take, but there you go. Uh, right, so let's do this, and then let's wait for you to pop up. Try and bomb you. Okay. I did, a bit, I did a bit of a mistake there. You might, might not have noticed what I did, but I used it while I was flying over the gap, and so I believe it did exactly nothing. Because I wasn't on ground when I used it. Okay, good more HP. And this is a good Mastema run st so far here. This is a good Mastema run. Uh, also, we can give ourselves the knife piece too. Our knife piece one, two. <laughs> I thought those, those were enemies then. They're just riding around. That's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to say temperature is definitely something I'm jealous of. And then also something that I'm a bit jealous of as well is people that get to make their living on YouTube. Like, considering how much I enjoy doing this, I really do like my day job and I'm, 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 I'm like very happy in it. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's back. Um... Yeah, it does exactly what I thought it would do. Um, and I'm very happy in it. I like, I, uh, unless I start earning the big books on YouTube, I don't plan on quitting it anytime soon. Um, but, everything's gone. But, I have to say, 
if given the opportunity to make more than I'm earning at my day job now from YouTube, I'd definitely, I'd definitely be up for it. Ooh, Toy Box. You tempt me too much, Toy Box. We got ourselves. Um, oh, we don't have thingy installed anymore, do we? Encyclopedia. That's that's gonna that's gonna mess with me, and it's an it's it's one of the mods that I'm probably gonna add back in time. But for right now, I'm okay with not. Just because, yeah, I, I like it was just adding quite a lot of lag, unfortunately, or at least it looked to be. But I don't, we we didn't get any offensive trinkets there, so I'm happy. I'm pretty happy. Lost the secret room. Ooh, I love the fact that it has, like, its own sprite. Beautiful. Oh, my God, we're so staffed for keys at the moment. We got... Interesting. We've got nine lives over here. I mean, we might as well try and grab both if we can. Beautiful. And we get this heart as well. Yeah, I'm going to say, getting two items of Guppy in a single room is pretty good going. Revelation doing a good job there. The Crooked Penny thing, just creating more uh, money for us is nice. Okay, definitely not a reliable source of damage. It seems to be missing a lot. God, I'm loving this double laser beam action we got going on here. Oh, that was a bit bullshit. <laughs> We need some more health pretty fast. Oh god, yeah, this this this, this crack the earth thing is not good. <laughs> it hit like, that enemy full on then and didn't kill it. Okay, can I get another key, please, game? That would be nice. Wow, everything's dead there. Death is kind of nice here, just to pop in here. Got a tinted rock there as well, giving me a key. Damn it. I thought if I said it, it'd do it. it. Was untrue. I need to go back and get my red rune in a moment as well. Don't forget about the red rune. Oh my god. Okay. There's a reason there's explosives in this room. I'm seeing that now. Oh my lord. Ow. God damn it. Red rune. Gimme, give gimme. Give Is this a uh, secret room here? Kind of looks like it. It's not. Just do the boss. Ooh, it's a champion version. Oh, it's a champion version that fires Hemolacria shots. Was not expecting that. And also Bob's brain hit me too, which in turn actually hurt the boss anyways, so it kind of worked out, but... Okay, that time it did it did a good job. That time it did a good job. We're going Angel still, because I think Angel's just working out for us. And I'm not going to take that. And... Yeah, I think we're good to go. We are kind of speeding through right here. But I think this is a, a definite mother-worthy run. If we end up getting Guppy, then it's 100% a mother-worthy run. Oh, my God. <laughs> that guy got annihilated. The lasers just pushed all the bombs back. I'm trying to get... Oh, okay, he did, he did blow it up. Good. It's like we've got lasers to push it back, and then we've got a revelation beam to push it back as well. I keep forgetting about revelation, I'll be honest. Where's the, where'd the soul hearts go? Did I pick them up? No, one of them's down here. Did I pick the other one up? I must have picked the other one up. Push those bombs straight back at you, fool. Oh my god, this guy is moving and grooving around the room like crazy. Calm down, sir. It is not your time to shine. I mean, I don't know why I'm pressing that, because I'm just going to spawn in the knife piece anyways. The knife piece chase is laggy, and it gets old quick. I hope you guys understand. And if you don't, it's fine, because it's my video. <laughs> right, let's crack this bad boy open. But yeah, today, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling feeling good today. Today, I've got um, a little trip out with a friend. Oh, can I get keys, please? I've got a little trip out with a friend to go for lunch. That's going to be quite nice. And then, like I said, it's really nice weather at the minute, so we're probably going to meet up at the pub later on and get some drinks and stuff. There's a nice pub next to my house, so that's going to be rather fun. Um, it's just going to be a nice day. It's, it's just it's why I like why I like the warm weather. You get to do more. I think with that, you just got to barrel stuff it. The crooked penny thing is probably the big reason I'm not getting as many keys, but 
I will not put it down ever. There you go, there's a key. Although, let's try and get another key first, because we've got the shop over there as well. I'd like to go to Burr. We, we definitely need some more base damage. Our damage is pretty pathetic right now. But this character's a healthy boy. But yeah, by the way, lag is significantly better right now. Oh, god damn it, Bob's brain. Nowhere near as heavy, so... So far, I'm I'm liking the changes that I've made here. The only one that I'm missing, really, like truly, is the completion marks and modded characters. That one's going to be annoying, but we'll we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Also, let's pop into the the, the cash room here because we might get some soul hearts out of it. Or a Roboros, which I I kind of want just because, yeah, yeah, just because of wacky lasers. The tears are a bit annoying, but wacky lasers is fun. Give me a guppy item. We got a bar and a question mark. Soul Cleaver. Isn't Soul Cleaver really good? It is. It also gave us... A bunch of... Oh, it gave us damage because we picked up the item, I see. Okay, got some good items there. Yeah, Soul Cleaver's pretty good. It basically get, turns one item into multiple of itself in Wisp form. And that's pretty useful. Hey, somewhere to spend our money. And it gave us a key. Oh my god. Do I really want to go back for that shop? No. <laughs> That's too far. Uh, I should have used my uh, red rune on those items instead of soul cleaver, but hey ho. Damn it, I was hoping it give me more keys back. What the hell? Oh, uh, I thought it was the same boss again. It's just the, the other version of this boss, isn't it? This is a, a really wacky, fun synergy we've got going on here. Oh my god. It's a bit hard to control, but I like it. Ooh, Chimera's really good. Chimera's really good. Um, and then we need to give ourselves knife piece two. Head away. Health is health is leaving a lot to be desired here. But I'm hoping we get keys and shop helps us out here. Also, we don't have the crooked penny thing going on anymore, so we shouldn't be deleting keys as we find them. Oh, what is this tragedy of a room right now? It's actually not so bad with flight, but without flight, that looks like it could be a real, real annoying room. Oh, this guy teleports. That's nutty. That's interesting, but that's nutty. Intrigue. I keep forgetting I've got revelation. I need to remember that. This is so good. <laughs> But this is what I mean, like, normally I feel like this sort of run would just break the game. There'd be so much lag, and it's so much better right now. The Soul Cleaver's back up and running nice. Like, I wouldn't say it's not laggy at all. Like, we, we, are, we are dropping some frames, but nowhere near as many as I would be otherwise. Also, I, I didn't realize we had Dirty Mines, like, locked in there with the other stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. This is so cool. Ah, for Bob's brain. How do you do it? How do you always sneak in there and hit me? When I'm most vulnerable, you're there to let me down. That's a, that's a risk and a half. Wait, can I... I can soul... Yes. Okay, I didn't think I'd be able to soul cleaver them while they were um, while they were hearts, like while they while they weren't available to me. Turns out you can. And that might be unintentional, but it means that we don't have to pay for things much now, and we still get them, which is really nice. Also, you can see how thick my beam has become. My swirly beam has become a thick boy. We got another chest here. 
That's another key. There's another key. Okay, keys are not so much of a problem anymore. Good, good. Shop could hopefully be pretty valuable to us here. Especially if we can soul cleaver the, the stuff in the shop. Back that open. Chariot isn't too good. Oh, this, this wasn't even a room I needed to do. This was just like an optional thing. I didn't realize. I'm going through it thinking I had to press all those buttons. That was just to get those chests. And that was to get those chests if you didn't have flight. I have flight. It didn't even matter. This is so wacky. I love it. God damn it, Shaw. I trusted you. I trusted you to be good. And you were pathetically bad. Right, let's head to the boss. Oh my god, this is so fun. This is such a cool and fun build. It's so dumb and I love it. Okay, good. Got enough keys for the next floor now, pretty much. Ah, shit. But yeah, hopefully this is more watchable for you guys. Please do let me know. Dude, if you'd want to get yourself up at any point, that'd be just fantastic. My dips keep triggering him. Not much I could do about that. Okay, good. We can crack that open. Grab a crack key. I guess I can try use the crack key somewhere. It's always annoying when you're like, try to crack key somewhere and there's like nowhere to use it. I'll try here first. By the way, I realize the... Oh, actually, wait a minute. Can we use it somewhere out of here? Yeah, we can. Okay, not, not useful. Unfortunately, not useful. Right, keep going. Grab my red rune again. Still haven't used the red rune yet somehow. But then again, I, I guess after I got Soul Cleaver, it, it became a little less relevant. Like, I want the screw. Ooh, Eternal Siren. Interesting. Oh, Bob's brain. I always forget about you, you sweet summer child. She's singing a sure tune. Give me some chocolate. More angel deals for me. It's not super useful, but I will take it. Let's go. And I say salvation, it's kind of one of those ones where if you get hit a lot, then yeah, it's pretty good. But otherwise, it's kind of not, not amazing. This is a, a hell of a room here. Why are we getting a holy mantle each for? Does revelation do that now? Because it seemed to happen after we got revelation. Basically, unless it's a guppy item, I'm probably just going to soul cleaver it. It's a guppy item. And soul cleaver the other one. Okay. This guy I'll play for the, um, the HP. We have a lot of wisps now. Come on, fella. You can give me what I need. Or apparently you can't. There you go. That's Butterbean. I guess that's our red rune. <laughs> Not a great red rune, but it's something. I don't even know where the remaining enemies are. But you we got Guppy. Awesome. Wasn't expecting it to, to get it this run, to be honest. I thought we were going to be stuck at two, but this should yield us quite a bit more damage now. I will say, health leaves a lot to be desired. This is a very horrible rune. But we cleared it very quickly, so who cares? Please let the shop be this way. I don't want to go all the way back for the shop. Oh my god. I just, I, I'm not even capable of understanding what's going on most of the time here. Good thing is with this guy, I actually don't have to shoot. Like, like all these eyes are the main threat when you're moving around. But I actually don't have to shoot at all. I can just use my laser beam. Oh, I, it is the other way. God damn it. I have to go for it as well because there's no other shops now. 
And you watch it be ultra greed anyways. You watch. At least we got decent speed. It's not going to be too much of a slog to get back there. I realize I'm leaving stuff behind. I don't think it's of the biggest concern. Bomb beggar? I don't think so. Oh my god, there's so many brimstone ghosts here. What the hell? God damn. Another reason we can't really use salvation yet is because if we don't get hit much, it stays quite small, the ring, and then we'll end up losing our wisps through contact damage on enemies, which I don't want to do. I don't want to lose these fellas. What the hell's this? Um, increases the chance for tainted treasure rooms to spawn. Tainted treasure rooms can spawn in chapter 4. Oh, I would love to grab that, but a Roboros worm cannot, cannot leave my hands. It is far too precious to me. Give me Mum's purse. You do give me hive mind, though, which is quite an interesting gambit here. <laughs> Grab hat. Right. Again, health leaves a lot to be desired. We do have nine lives, which is okay. I wouldn't say it's great, just because honestly, on the on the mother fight, it's not really gonna make much of a difference. But I will say grabbing hive mind just then, that has that has basically doubled our damage output, so we're gonna have a good time with that. God damn, a Robros is so cool with beams. It's just so fun. Right. Let's go for this. Ooh, a tet. How does this work? This is eternal repentance, mum. Intriguing. I unfortunately did get hit there. Um We definitely want to take that. I do want to check this out, because we might be able to get a good amount of health throughout this. Kill enemy grants a small damage up, but also gives you a look down. Um, had we done uh, thingy, boss rush? We have done boss rush, so we don't have to do this. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to try it. Just, just because we have a lot of damage right now, and we should be able to garner quite a few eternal hearts throughout this, I think. We could also get hit a lot, which would be nice. No, to be fair, that was a particularly difficult enemy. Anything that doesn't have boss armor is going to get wrecked. Is this a Mr. Fred? It is a Mr. Fred. We've also got this bastard, which we can't really account for. Just hope he dies quickly. That's that's pretty much all you can do. We have a black heart there. I wasn't expecting. This guy does have some boss armor, so he's still going to take a little bit to go down. It's okay. Just cover the screen in lasers. We do have Bob's Braid as well doing some good damage. Yeah, we're going to get a, a, a good amount of health out of this, I think. And that's actually going to help quite a lot. What the hell we got here? Oh, it's this dude. This dude's always a massive problem. He's got a, quite a lot of boss armor and can be quite tricky. You've got to break the chains, then kill the heart. Then kill the mask. Super cool attack patterns, but goddamn, it's a difficult one. But yeah, you got like double kill the heart as well. Tricky little fella. Okay, get him there. If you if you can hit a Robros on the loop of of uh, beams, it can do double damage. It's like a little bit broken. It's kind of hard to, like, line it up correctly. God damn, we're getting hit a lot. It's okay, though. As long as I keep red health, I'm pretty happy. As long as I keep making more red health, I think it kind of balances out. 
Oh, come on, Skorlex. Why you gotta be like this? Why you gotta exist? Oh, there you go. Bob's brain hit you exactly. God damn, this guy's got a lot of health. Maybe Skorlex shouldn't be given boss armor. Also, you with all the eyes. God damn, the flies. That's just because we've got beams going on. Beams generate so many flies. They're just, they're just wrecking everything. Once the flies get hold, it's just like, you're done. I think we've only got a few more waves left, to be honest. I don't think there's much more for us to see. Come on, flies. Oh, Bob's brain did it. Bob's brain's the one that finished, finished it off. Look at that. Rainmaker just insta-died. Now our flies are on this guy. He's going to fly by, but he is going to be dead in just a moment. There you go. There you go. We came out of that with more health than we went into it with. I think that's a pretty good success. Probably should have soul cleavered that, but oh well. Yeah, pretty good success there. Ooh, this guy's got like a new skin. What the hell? He looks a bit different. Okay, flies and Bob's brain are going to handle this, along with obviously high laser power. Probably going to lose a lot of our wisps here. In fact, we might lose them all. This guy does have a good amount of boss armor. This attack always confuses the ever-living shit out of me. Like, it, it's so funny because it's so hard to actually aim our tears anymore. It's basically just the lasers. Ow. Lost a burn heart right at the end there. Anyways, that was a pretty good floor all in all. Keep it, keep it moving. Keep it going. I've got my protein shake nearby. I've just, just, just been to the gym. I have lost a full stone, which I'm very happy about. Which I don't know how much it is in America speak, but... Um, it's a good amount. Considering I was like... 15 stone before, and now I'm like 14, and that's pretty good. I want to try and get to about 12 and a half, but that's quite the goal. If I get to like 13 and a half or 13, that's, that's then me no longer overweight. <laughs> so I'd be happy with that. Like, I'm not fat fat, but I'm not slim. <laughs> It's a difficult thing trying to motivate yourself to lose weight, but my girlfriend's been doing a really good job of it herself, so um, she, she's a lot, a lot thinner than I am already, but just because she's, for one, shorter. Um, but uh, she's been doing a really good job, so I'm going to try and keep it up as well. Kind of motivating me to keep with it, sort of thing. I do not like the look of this room. I mean, I kind of do, but at the same time, I'm scared of it. Okay, so I think Mother is going to get absolutely shrecked. I think this setup is just going to destroy her. But yeah, this run, while it's not, while the, the frame rate has not been perfect, it's like, we're at like 40 right now. It's significantly better than a run of this caliber would normally be. Like, I, I feel like normally a run like this would be, like, a 25 FPS run. And we're at 46 right now. And when we're not shooting, it's 54. It's a lot better. Okay, this guy's kind of, this guy's kind of tough, actually. He has a lot of HP. But... This is why I love this boss armor mod. I know some people are really against that sort of thing, like artificially making bosses harder. But bosses like this, normally you kill them so fast at this point in the game that you don't even get to see their attack patterns. Now we actually have to, like, have to fight this guy. Even though I'm quite overpowered, this guy still has chances and opportunities to hit me. And we're still absolutely wrecking him because we are strong. It's not like, it's not like that was super, super difficult. 
Ooh. I don't know, that's potentially kind of good, but I think I'm just going to break it. Right. Last floor to gain some HP. I think with the HP we're currently on, if we can go the full floor or most of the floor without being hit, I think we're good to go. But you didn't die, okay. Might be a little tricky to go the full floor. Ooh, we could play this guy for some extra HP as well. And a card. How does that work on this floor? Okay, just fight. We just fight Scourge here. Is that Eternal Scourge as well? It looks like it. I can never tell because Scourge is kind of white already. Yeah, they go more HP. That was good. Easy Scourge kill. Scourge is one of my favorite bosses. He's so cool. The world. I like the way the world and uh, it was are now essentially the exact same thing. Wait, what? Well, this was confusing. Why do I have two hollow grounds? What the heck <laughs> was even that? That was so confusing. <laughs> I'm guessing because we got an error room on this floor, it just takes you back to this floor, which for some reason I didn't expect, even though it's kind of obvious. Good. God damn the lasers. They are beautiful. No matter what you say. We've managed to garner a lot of HP. We got to full. And Empress Empress is Nah, I kind of I think Soul of Apollyon's gonna be better for the um for the explosive boys. They'll do a lot of damage. Here's the boss. Ooh, hello. This could maybe give us an advantage. Or it could give us some pennies. The exact amount that we paid into it. Okay, we got Eternal. But these flies, as you can see with Hive Mind, are doing a lot of damage. Both the locusts and the regular flies we've got are annihilating this boy. Oh my god. Holy shit, the amount of those he fired. Thank God we have Wisps. Yeah, he's he's getting annihilated. I don't know where we got 16.51 damage from, by the way. I'm not quite sure what I, what damage up items I've been picking up, but either way, I'm happy. Why'd the poop spawn there? There you go. That was easy. Absolutely annihilated. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We unlocked the Raven's Beak. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.